Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be looking at count. Now, count is a very simple function to explain, and you've probably already used something like this before. So let's start with our very first example. Let's start data equals, and then an array, and we're just going to have one, two, three, and four. So we're going to return collect data, and let's call the count method on that. Let's see what we get. Four. As expected, we get four. And of course, to clarify, four has nothing to do with this digit, but rather it's just a count of one, two, three, and four digits inside of this data. Now, for point of clarification, I do want to change this to maybe have an array inside of it. So let's say we have five and six. Let me rearrange this into new lines so it's easier to read what's going on here. So three and four. And so we can simply see that we have an array with one, two, three, and four. And the key of two does contain another array inside of it. Now this, however, does not change the count. The count is still four. Let me show you one more example here. If we said seven, for example, as a string, now we bump it up to five. And so that's an important thing to know about count. Count is only looking at the very first layer of an array, so the first dimension of the array. It will not look at other dimensions. It will not count letters. It won't do anything weird like that. On a final note about count, count does not return a collection like other methods. So it cannot be chained, right? For example, we could not call something like first after that because we are clearly returning a string and not a collection. So count is sort of the last ending bit. So if you had a lot of things chained together in your collection, the final one would be count. Count cannot be anywhere but at the end. So keep that in mind when you're using count. 